Hi, this is James Herbert, Service Manager with New Way Trucks. This video is about a Mammoth Front Loader Walkaround. In this video, we will walk around the truck and I will point out the locations of the proximity switches and the various control and features of the truck. Although we will not be performing any work on this video, if you do happen to work on the truck from something that you see here, please follow all proper lockout and tagout procedures. Here we have one of our Mammoth front loaders mounted on a Peterbilt chassis. Here you can see the front mounted pump. Typically this is where the pumps are located, however some may be mounted to the PTO on the transmission of the truck. Here you can see where the loader arm proximity switch is. The function of this proc switch is to let the truck know when the arms are over the cab. Now, if you see three proc switches here instead of one as in the previous picture, this means you have an all-electric model. There are some important differences between the all-electric model and this model. This model uses electric over air to control the hydraulic valves. If you have an all-electric model, please see Electric Valve Mammoth Front Loader Walk Around video. Here we see three different proximity switches. The first one to the left is the Packer Extended Position. Its position controls where the packer stops in a packing cycle. During an ejection cycle, the packer blade will move beyond this proc switch and extend all the way to the end of the body. The tailgate must be all the way open for the packer to extend beyond this switch. The next proc switch is the packer home switch. This switch controls the home position of the packer blade. The rightmost proc switch is the front access or safety door procs. This door must be closed for the PTO to engage. Opening this door will disengage the PTO and stop all functions. Here we have the control box, often referred to as a Marlin box after the manufacturer of the box. If you see these two boxes instead of the Marlin box as before, this means you have the all-electric model. Again, if you have the all-electric model, please refer to the electric valve mammoth front loader walk-around video. Here you see one of the arm cylinders, and here you see one of the fork cylinders. Here you see our optional service hoist, or sometimes referred to as a body lift. It has its own dedicated hydraulic power unit, and depending on the chassis, it may be found elsewhere on the truck. Here we have one of the tailgate cylinders and the tailgate prop rod. If you are working inside the body or under the tailgate, always use this prop rod. If you don't use this prop rod and there's a hydraulic failure, you could be trapped or even crushed by the tailgate. Here we have the tailgate closed procs. This is the other tailgate cylinder. Here is a ladder to gain you access to the top of the truck. Let's climb up it. Whenever you are on top of the truck, always safety tie yourself down with a safety harness to one of these points. Here is the lid or cover fully open proc switch. Here is the hopper camera.
Here is the optional forks over height prox. What this prox does is it lets you know if the forks are stowed or not when they are above the cab. Okay, now we're back down below, and here we have the hydraulic oil tank. Here we have the breather and the fill cap for the hydraulic oil tank. Here are the oil filters. Note that some trucks have internal filters that are inside the oil tank. They will not be visible. Here we have the hydraulic valves. They are electric over air operated. Here you can see the hydraulic valves, the MAC or air valves, and the control box again. The MAC valves are electrically operated air valves that use the truck's own compressed air to operate the hydraulic valves. Now we will climb into the cab and go over the cab controls. This is a multifunction camera monitor. Here is the joystick to control the loader arms and the forks. Moving the joystick forward will lower the loader arms down. Moving the joystick backwards will raise the loader arms up. Press to the left of the joystick to move the forks down and press to the right to move them up. Here are the body control switches and buttons. To engage the PTO, you must first reset the button by pressing down on the off position. You will feel it click and then within a second and a half, you have to turn it on by pushing the button forward on the I position. To raise the tailgate, the tailgate interlock button and the tailgate up button must be pressed and held simultaneously. This feature is designed to prevent refuse from being dropped on the ground unintentionally. The green button is an optional auto pack. Press it once to start an auto pack cycle, a second press will stop the blade, and a third press will return the blade to home. 